Hey guys, welcome to Amazing Tech. This is my first video with a product review on this channel. I hope you like the content. After I unboxed the Surface Book 3 retail package a few weeks ago, I've been spending a lot of time with this i in one It's a beautiful device with a build that has no match currently in the market. The uniquely positioned Surface Book has a powerful convertible and the form factor just how it does everyone in the market right now. There are no such products in the market except for this one. To do my review, I got a 13.5 inch Surface Book 3 powered by Intel Core i7 with 16 GB RAM and 256 GB SSD. It's a shame that it has only 4 cores with 8 thread even for such an expensive device. Now let's take a look at what we got here. Design. Overall build of this device gives you the expected premium feel. It's also great to look at. Display can be detached and can be used as a tablet. Rather large one. Both the base and the display has individual batteries to power the display as a tablet and a base as a powerful computer. But the design of the device has not changed since it was first released. And that's a bummer. With every other manufacturers are bringing bezel-less display, Surface Book's bezels are larger than anything that are in the market right now. Same hinges retained, which is amazing. But display detaching time has definitely improved from the earlier versions of the device. It's a bit on the heavier side though, at 1.6 kilograms, and it may not be for those who would like to carry lightweight devices. A display is crisp with three two aspect ratio, which is a bit odd, but you shouldn't have much problem with it. With max of uh, 267 ppi, your images and videos will pop. It's a touch display. You can draw, write, and sketch with precision using Surface Pen. It does improve a lot. Don't expect Surface Pin to be in the pack. You gotta pay another $99 for that. Keyboard, there is no question that how great this backlit keyboard is to type on. And keys gives you the response you expect from a great keyboard like this. The lights are dimmer. You need real darkness to see keys with light. The trackpad is retained as it was in book two. Uh, maybe Microsoft could have tried a large one this time around, but I'm hoping that's gonna come uh, in the next version around. Ports. You get a couple of USB ports. It may be sufficient for an average user, but just one USB-C may be a limitation unless you are ready to shell out. More money to get a Surface Dock to enable a plethora of connectivity options. What is missing here? A lightning port. Not sure when they are going to come on board with us. It took a long time for them to embrace USB-C. Maybe it'll take another couple of uh, iterations before they come on board on with a lightning port. But now you can also charge your surface with USB-C cable, apart from the proprietary multipurpose surface charger. There was 3.5mm headphone jack. The same place. I don't think they are planning to change the location anytime soon. I really wish Microsoft actually moved that to the base sometime soon. Surprising thing is there is a full size SD card reader. Many of those photographers and videographers would appreciate that. The processor Microsoft claims is 50% faster than its predecessor. It's indeed fast and delivers in its promise. Thanks to its uh, upgraded Intel's 10th generation multi-core processors, in my daily usage it did manage to deliver on a graphics rendering with the support of a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 with a max q design. The display also has a graphics card and integrated graphics inside. When I compared Surface Book with the MacBook Pro with the same configuration, there isn't much difference in terms of speed or the processing power. It does handle things well compared to any other device with the same configuration. I can't say which is better here. They do great. Another improvement is the improved battery life claim of 15.5 hours for the 13.5 inch version and a 17 hours for 15 inch version. I don't know how reasonable that claim is. In my experience, I think that definitely fell flat. It didn't definitely hit 15.5 hours, not even 10 hours. I think the time I spent video editing software, I think it probably lasted about seven to eight hours max before I could recharge the battery. The speaker has some names attached to it, Dolby Atmos, but it is not loud enough. I tried all kind of fracks, but definitely it is not even louder than my smartphone, which is a shame. When Apple is able to produce such loud sound from their iPad, why not this? There 
There's no question about the quality of the cameras in Surface Book. All of them are 1080p. Your video conferences will be crisp and no one is going to complain about your video quality in your meetings. There is a 5MP camera in the front and 8MP autofocus camera in the rear. The price? Agreed. It's an expensive device, it's not for everyone. Who's gonna buy this device at $1500 to start with for regular use? There are plenty of other options for regular use at a cheaper price. For example, Dell XPS. What a great device it is. Almost $300 less. If I'm spending high bucks, I'll be for graphics heavy use, gaming, and of course the use case is very different. The audience is very different for these devices. So I don't really think that those users would have any problem shelling such money. The USB of this device is the detachable display that can be used as a larger tablet to enjoy your media in the comfort of your couch. The marvelous engineering on the hinge system still makes you wonder how they manage this. Though the device is a bit heavier and bulky, it wouldn't distance you from this device as any powerful device tend to be a bit heavy. Microsoft has done what they do best with the Surface Book 3, a device which has a unique design with a great display and a build. A great keyboard to complement overall. This is this is surely a great buy for those who are looking for a stylish but powerful device for social media content creation, graphic design, app development. I'm not so fond of gaming, so I wouldn't really comment on that. What can be improved? The design for sure. Some additional ports, maybe lightning ports. I'm definitely hoping that next time around Microsoft is going to really really step up the game and redefine the design language. But until then, anyone who's looking for a device of this type, definitely this is the only device in the market with this form factor. And this is for those who are looking for uniqueness. It's expensive but you won't regret. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to support this channel. Bye guys. Thank you.